Yes, guys and girls, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video by myself as a 23. We're back with another episode of Spending Script. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to every single one of you that are subscribed to the channel. Um, last week we hit the 1000 subscriber mark. I did say a massive thank you in my latest video, but I do know that Script Spending is my most watched series. So I just want to say thank you again to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. It makes me feel amazing. I'm so grateful to every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. All the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions, all the views. It really, really means a lot to me. In fact, I even had some of you guys wishing me good luck in, in my job interview on the last video, which is which is amazing. Thank you. It, it did go well as well. Thank you very much. Um, but let's jump into the main body of this video. We're going to spend 2000 script at the purveyor's bar, which is just right behind me, just over my shoulder. Um, I wanted to run a couple of things by you guys as well before we get into it. So um, I get quite a lot of comments asking me to create a Discord. Um, when I say I get quite a lot, I don't know, I'm not getting hundreds of people ask me to make a Discord. But I've, I've had quite a few people ask if I could uh, make a Discord. If that is something that you would fancy, please do let me know in the comment section below. Um, I should be able to be using the YouTube community posts um, any day soon as well. So I will also put one of them out to ask people if that is something they would like to, to see. Somewhere we could just, um, you guys could put the gun pulls that you get. Um, you guys could even probably trade weapons between yourself. Uh, you know, that would be pretty awesome. And just discuss generally all things Fallout would be a pretty, pretty cool place to just hang out, chat about pulls you've had at the purveyor, builds, all that sort of good stuff. And um, also... I, I'm thinking of streaming on Twitch. Um, I had a series on my channel that I started called Walter White Wednesdays. Unfortunately, due to that work and football and you know things that I have going on in my life, I had to put it on a bit of a back burner. Uh, so I'm just wondering whether I should probably stream that instead. And I could also stream other little games. I've been getting into Grand Theft Auto Roleplay this last week. It's been crazy. But let me know if that's also something you wouldn't mind seeing. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of homework on how to set things up on Twitch. But let's quickly jump into the purveyor's den and hopefully get some god rolls and hopefully a uh, perfectly preserved pie as well. See you in there. You know how it goes, guys. we got to try for a pie. First thing we do... Nah, we didn't get one this time, but that's all right. That's fine. Um, also, guys, actually carrying on from the 1,000 subscribers, uh, thank you. I am... In the middle of getting the Build Your Own Pit Boy, I've contacted the company that are selling them. Uh, they should be able to get me one within the next two weeks, which is awesome. So I will be giving that away on the channel. Look out for that one. But let's try to get some God Rolls here. As always, 1,000 across two characters. Sorry, 2,000 across two characters with 1,000 each. Let's go in straight away. First pull of the day is going to be... Oh, it's a Crusader pistol. Nice. And it's anti-armor as well. I, uh, amazing. I've just been building a pistol build as well. Because I do have a two-shot Crusader pistol that I wanted to give a try. But I think this anti-armor one probably moved further up the list now, to be honest. Um, that is very nice. I've been saving up my bullion to get some mods for this as well. Um, obviously, you look at the damage stats. You know, it's not always the the most powerful gun a crusader pistol but it's a rare gun and you know it's not often i get drops for the crusader pistol i've i've done like 16 episodes of script spending i think i've only gotten three so yeah happy with that that's a nice start to this uh this little script spending session let's keep it rolling stalker's double barrel shotgun really 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 not a fan of the stalker's effect as you all know but we do get the 25 percent faster fire rate the fire rate on a double barrel is is mad anyway it's literally tap tap boom but um having that 25 percent faster fire rate is pretty nice would be better if it was a uh, a quad double barrel which we do have an explosive one coming up soon to be reviewed on the channel and we also get faster movement speed while aiming as well so pretty scrippy gun there to be honest let's keep it moving all right, we've got a Gatlin, uh, Junkies Gatlin laser. Awesome. Um, I haven't run a Junkies build in quite a while, but that is very nice. 33% uh, VATS hit chance and a 15% faster reload. I welcome the 15% faster reload on most guns, to be honest. 33% um, hit VATS hit chance for me is, tends to be better when I'm rocking an assault rifle, like a handmade or a fixer, because I tend to use them in VATS, but we do get a nice damage buff if we were to run junkies with this build so um that could be quite a fun gun to use let's keep it going 
Two shot pipe pistol. Nah, it is what it is. Uh, shoots an additional projectile, of course. Plus 10% damage while aiming, which you probably tend to do with a pistol, to be fair. And 250% 250 sorry flat 250 damage resistance while reloading nothing to get excited about probably going to go straight in the script machine so that we can continue this series let's go on to the next gun which will take us to halfway on this character it's a mutant slayer short combat rifle so situational effect with the plus 30 percent damage to super mutants we do get 10 percent damage while aiming and we also get 15 15 15 percent faster reload which is great this is pretty decent to be fair um what do i mean is great i mean 15 percent faster reload is a great effect to have now and then but the gun overall isn't great um that's what i meant to say uh jesus long day guys long day right we've got 500 left on this character hopefully we can get some some more luck now going into the latter stages Oh, bloody harpoon gun. I hate harpoon guns. I don't know. Look at them. They look minging, man. They just look like my Nan's slipper from when I was 15 years old. I'm telling you. They just. <laughs> Sorry, Nan. I didn't mean to do you dirty on YouTube. But yeah. Bloody harpoon gun. We obviously get a bloody uh, damage buff. We get 10% damage while aiming. And we also get faster movement speed while aiming. Me personally, if I was to use a bloody gun, which uh, a harpoon gun, sorry, which I, I'm not going to. I would probably aim so those the second and third effect go uh, hand in hand but you look at the damage stats down here 298 that's insane you could do some serious damage with this gun maybe one that we can just review on um purveyor's picks that could be a, a funny video to be fair but four more left on this character we got zealots short pump action shotgun obviously situational effect we get a plus 30 percent damage to scorched we do get plus 33% VAT hit chance, which is one of my favourite um, effects to get, to be honest, outside of explosive on that second one. And we also get faster movement speed while aiming, kind of counteracts the uh, plus 33% VAT hit chance, depending how you would use this shotgun. Me, personally, I'm not going to use it, I'm going to script it, but yeah, it's alright, it's alright. It's, it's all right. Okay, Stalker's Gatling Gun. Stalker's rubbish, absolutely rubbish. But we do get 50% limb damage. Head counts as a limb as well, so that does uh, extra 50% damage when you're hitting headshots, which is nice. And we also get 250 damage resistance while reloading. Um, a massively, massively, massively huge pile of script there for me. Uh, two more on this account, come on. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's get a god roll. Ah, oh, we've got a Hunter's Cryo later. We don't very often get hunters. 30% uh, damage to animals, another situational effect. We get plus 10% damage while aiming. And we also get faster movement speed while aiming. So second and third go hand in hand together there. Uh, this gun weighs 10 pounds, so it's, it's getting script for me straight away, if I'm honest. We've had a lot of script this, gu uh, this uh, session, guys. Boom, what we got? Mutant Slayers, Combat Shotgun, plus 30% damage to Super Mutants, plus 33% VAT hit chance, and plus 1 Perception, which is basically just a normal, basic, legendary gun that is probably going to get scripted. Um, shame. It wasn't the most successful uh, batch of weapons there. Let's have a look at the new tab. Anything that really stands out for me was probably the anti-armor Crusader pistol. There it is. Um... Yeah, maybe the junkies, junk, junkies Gatlin laser. Wow, I keep mixing my words up today, guys. But yeah, nothing to nothing to sing about there. We're gonna quickly uh, go into the second character now. But before I do that, you're gonna scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And now we're gonna quickly change to the second character. Cool, guys. We're in with the second character now, so we're gonna hit a little pie. Dun dun dun. Nope. Never mind. Let's just uh, spend some script now, please. I would like to have, I'd like to have a bloody handmaid. I don't have any decent handmaids at the moment. I, well, I've got an explosive handmaid as an execution as well. I think it has 25% um, less AP as well. But I want a bloody handmaid. I want a bloody handmaid. Give me a bloody handmaid, please. Let's do this. Ten weapons. Hopefully one of which is a bloody handmaid. <laughs> Not quite. We get a two-shot pipe revolver. Um, the less said about that, the better, to be honest. Um, script. Let's go again. We get an assassin short flamer, giving us 10% damage to humans. 
plus 50% limb damage and also our vax critical meter will fill 15% faster. I like to just put flamers in my uh, vending machine, you know, um, they normally weigh quite a bit. I do have uh, a heavy gunner build at the moment, which is, uh, it has bare arms, so the, the weight of that has come down, so uh, they do weigh quite a bit, so I like to just put them on my vending machine for quite cheap, because I know a lot of people like to rock them at the moment. We'll go again now, eight more left. A nocturnal railway rifle, not a fan of nocturnal at all. The second effect there is probably the worst one, and we get plus 50 damage resistance while aiming, so that is a big metal chunk of scrip. Not going so well on this account. Uh, maybe I was asking too much when I asked for a bloody handmade. Let's go again, come on. A mutant slayer short laser pistol. We do get that situational effect of plus 30% damage to super mutants. But we get the 25% faster fire rate, which is not too bad. And we also get that critical meter filling 15% faster, which is not bad at all either. Those go well nice together. Um, you know, laser pistols ain't too bad either. As you can see down there, look, the damage is doing 81. That's nice. Um, obviously, that's energy damage, not ballistic damage. But plus 30% damage to super mutants as well. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad, to be honest. Um, there's plenty of pistols out there that are probably better, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as some of the others that have been on this character. So let's take us to the halfway line now with a harpoon gun. Oh, my Nan Sandal again. Sorry, Nan. Plus 50% damage to ghouls, plus 50% limb damage, very useful when going for head, and plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. Scrip. Let's just scrip. Uh, five more left on this character, guys. Come on, come on. Give me something to get excited about, something to shout about. That's not it. We get a Mutant Slayer's Western Revolver, which gives us plus 30% damage to super mutants. But it's explosive, which is nice, and we get plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. The only thing worth mentioning on that is that it's explosive, but even then, it's never going to make me want to use it. But look at that damage though, 159. Wow, that's crazy. 159. Insane. Four more left on this account, let's do it. Oh my god, I thought we had the pit. I thought because we had the two, we had the left flip flop and a right flip flop, but I guess not. Damn. It's even got bashing damage. It's even got bashing damage. What a kick in the teeth. I don't want to see that anymore. Let's move on to the next one. Let's ignore that harpoon gun. I swear this game knows I hate harpoon guns. We get another western revolver. This one being assassins which gives us 10% damage to humans. Plus 50% limb damage and faster movement speed while aiming. So it's just a slightly shitter version of the other one that we had. Um, these do pack a punch, mine guys. These do pack a punch. I was starting to use them on my uh, my Water White series that I kind of abandoned. But yeah, less said about that, the better. But we could revive that one on Twitch. You never know. Uh, two more on this account. Come on, let's hope for some big ones. Let's hope it's not a bloody harpoon gun at least. It's a bloody fat man. Okay, fair enough. I've had bloody fat mans in the past. They're mental. Look at the damage down there. I'm running a bloody build at the moment. Look at that damage. 2714. You know what? This is going to be a purveyor's pick. We could just blow up behemoths, blow up um, what they call again, Mylet Queens. You just blow up big, big, beefy animals with this. It could be, um, it could be mad because I'm going to aim with it anyway and they get 10% damage while aiming. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, um, let's turn this gun into a purveyor picks video very soon. Um, one left on this account. Let's hope it's, uh, it's an exciting one. It's a quad action revolver. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Um, turning a six shot gun into a 24 shot gun, if my maths is right. And also adding plus one perception is not too bad. Plus 10% damage while aiming as well. I like to aim revolvers. Um, there's just something about aiming a revolver that just seems nice. This would be a good gun for my Walter White series if I was to carry that on, hey! <laughs> right, and that brings us to the end of this video, guys. And, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, let me know if you want me to make a Discord. I'm, I'm going to have to do some homework on how I can manage the Discord as well, because obviously we want it to be a fun place. We don't want any discrimination or anything like that. So I'll do a little bit of homework on that. And also let me know if you would subscribe to me on Twitch. In fact, I'll put the my Twitch username on here right now and I'll also put it on the bit in the beginning of the video where I mentioned it 
and also another big massive thank you to you guys for getting me to 1000 subs I appreciate it so much if you're not already subscribed do it right now and be in with a chance of winning a build your own pit play which will be coming very soon hopefully thank you again guys good night